All right. Wow, we always have some uh, wild and crazy keynotes every time, and we, <laughs> we can always count on <laughs> Mark to uh, kick it up a notch. Uh, well, a as I said this morning, I think that um, this one of the most amazing things happening in our community are the operators. And ultimately, in my mind, that's the true north of, of our efforts here to build and operate open infrastructure. Listening to them, learning about what decisions they're making, because ultimately it's up to them, right? And uh, the next speakers have made some good decisions of their own to run their infrastructure. And so I want to introduce Rick Bliss and Jeff Maroshek. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a lot of people think that the insurance industry is kind of boring. So before we get into the introductions, Rick and I would like to show you a quick video that will hopefully convey the culture, some of the fun that we have as employees, and maybe change your mind that Progressive is not a boring insurance company. So let's check it out. First robot interview, so thank you. Well, thank you. It's my first robot interview as well. All right, cool. Uh, so uh, my name is Rick Bliss. Uh, I'm a cloud engineer at Progressive Insurance, and I've been uh, positioned with the data science community for quite some time now. My job has been to figure out how we can deliver infrastructure that uh, satisfies their needs and allows them to get their models to uh, our consumers uh, f as fast as possible. And uh, I'm Jeff Maruschak. I've been with Progressive for going on 12 years. I actually started in the data center. I was racking servers, running fiber. Uh, and I was kind of looking at this rack over here earlier, like, is that kind of installed right? But I uh, did a lot of Wintel stuff, went, moved up through the tiered organization, and now I'm the server virtualization subject matter expert. I uh, do a lot of uh, VMware stuff, a lot of server virtualization. And in the last uh, year or so, I've been working closely with Rick, uh, establishing our OpenStack presence. So. Oh. Okay, so uh, you know, data science at Progressive, uh, we have a varied skill set there. We have uh, mathematicians that want to focus mostly on theory and, and the math side of things. But uh, down at the, the data engineer side and the software engineering side, we've got uh, developers that really want to be able to deploy to production. Uh, they can create complex CI-CD pipelines uh, to get their APIs and visualizations to the customers and, and ultimately create uh, the customer value. So we needed to provide systems for that. Uh, Jeff? So 
Transformation is the big keyword, right? So in our session on tomorrow, we're going to be talking about not only our customer facing kind of transformation stories, but as well uh, as our infrastructure, which I'm going to talk about right here. Uh, so obviously, you know, 2004, 2005, we were completely physical. We're talking uh, data centers full of 2U servers. Uh, and then, you know, VMware came out, vMotion came around, everyone got excited. So we had our first uh, P2V project in 2007. And then finally, in December of 2009, I was kind of keeping track. Uh, that's when Progressive finally had more VMs than physical servers. And so after that, we kind of moved from the 2U servers to the converged infrastructure. Now we have a data center full of um, Cisco UCS Blade servers. And now we moved to 2017, where we're evaluating hyper-converged stuff uh, with VXWare, uh, VMware's VxRec Flex, Dell EMC uh, CPSD's product. Uh, Cisco Hyperconverge or Hyperflex. Uh, so that's kind of an example of how we're transforming our infrastructure. And below that, you can see the storage, starting with mainframe DASD, uh, external disk arrays, the power vaults, going to uh, fully world-class SAN infrastructure, to today where we have all flash SAN uh, using uh, EMC's Extreme I.O. So an example of infrastructure uh, of how we're transforming. Right. So uh, we, we poked around at how we get automated infrastructure to our data science community. And really, we came up with OpenStack is the uh, standard for on-premise cloud. And it also provides the maximum cap or, uh, flexibility, right? So Jeff just mentioned, we're always experimenting with the hardware that best suits our data center needs. And we can still provide infrastructure as code and not incur technical debt when we change and, and move our data center. So for our OpenStack distribution, uh, we chose VMware Integrated OpenStack. Uh, you know, we got a long history, like Jeff says. Uh, we've got the operational support. Uh, we've got 24/7 uh, by 24/7 uh, support in our data center. We've got experts that can handle uh, working with those hypervisors, and it lets us do OpenStack with less risk. If we already have the uh, procedures in place, then we can bring the open source APIs of uh, uh, OpenStack to our customers for for the delivery. We love containers, right? So. Uh, you know, we, we kind of get in the data science realm when we had these monolithic uh, Linux enterprise in environments, and they weren't really uh, easy for app developers to work in, right? Um, you know, we couldn't have a consistent version of, uh, you know, say, Python and, and be sure that that's what worked for that developer. So we saw containers as a way to maybe help us deliver there. Um, you know, and then also for data science, we will use any language that gets our models to production. So we need to support a polyglot environment. Uh, that's any language that lets us deliver value with AI and, and machine learning. Um, so uh, this is another offering uh, from, from VMware, and it's called VIOK. VIOK and that allows us to deploy uh, enterprise-grade Kubernetes clusters uh, you know, so that we can do those big data science uh, workloads, big data. So uh, I think we just saw a demo of Kubeflow. We're also looking at experiment uh, with Airflow, Spark 2.3. We're starting to see a lot of big data applications being rewritten in a Kubernetes native way. So we want to be prepared with that, and we also want to be supported by, uh, by VMware. So uh, we're looking at that. So long story short, and not really that long, but uh, OpenStack is part of our on-premise puzzle. And you'll see that we are trying to figure out how we bring all these technologies together from different vendors and, and, and actually use them in our business and allow us to experiment. So uh, we're just going to keep doing that. And we see OpenStack as our infrastructure as a service layer uh, to provide uh, for, those, so, for those pieces of software. So thank you. And uh, Jeff? Yeah, so if you want to hear more about our story, uh, we have a session tomorrow at 11 a.m., uh, OpenStack at Progressive Insurance, Data Science and Machines Learning. So come on out and hear more. Uh, and thank you very much for having us out. And we'll come find us and talk to us. So All thank right. you very much. Thank you.